first of all, University of Miami uh, made some news yesterday. They hired Ed Reed to be their chief of staff. Um, look, I'll tell you this. There's a lot of things that I like about this hire because who doesn't like Ed Reed, right? I mean, let, let's let's be honest here. If you you know Ed Reed is a mentor, you know Ed Reed is a leader, you know Ed Reed is a winner, you know Ed Reed is one of the true Kane's greats. Okay. This nutbag right here, okay, this guy here, all right, had one of the craziest hot takes in the world for Ed Reed back in the day. In my book, I would have given him the Heisman. Uh, That's all I'm saying. What he did that year, how he changed a, a bunch of those games, and he did on his own. He made game-changing plays. I thought he was the Heisman guy that year. That's how much I thought of Ed Reed that year and how he played. And I knew he wasn't going to win it because it's so hard to win it from his position. But if you remember that season, and obviously you know his career, um, we could argue that he's the – you know how we do it with Dion that you can't call Dion the greatest corner ever because he wasn't a tackler, right? So no, he wanted to play flag football, right? But 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 we always call Dion the greatest cover corner of all time, right? Because in my book, I'd rather have Rod Woodson. You understand what I'm saying? Because Rod Woodson could cover. And then he'd also knock your what in the sock. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's my kind of D-back, okay? The guy that can play both sides of, of the coin. But anybody that would want Dion and say he's the greatest, it's hard to argue with them, right? It all depends on what your, you know, qualifications are. You know what I'm saying? For some people... They're happy enough with Ryan Tannehill as their quarterback as long as they build the team around them and it's a great, great team. Yeah, for me, no, I don't want those kind of quarterbacks. I need my quarterback to be able to bail me out when chaos happen, happens and he's not going to be able to do that. I need my quarterback that, yeah, I know I want him to cover, but, you know, when the running back breaks free, I want you to be there to be able to hit the guy and bring him down. If you're not willing to do that, then you're kind of a weakness also in certain areas. And that's, you know, so it's it all depends on how you look at it. But Ed Reed was the ultimate cover, cover guy out there when you talk about safeties. Uh, the anticipation, everything. I don't need to tell you guys what kind of player he is. You know it. So this position, he could offer so much to kids. He can be such a great mentor, such a great sounding board for all of these young men. For Manny, too. You know? But in the end, it's all about Manny. And look, I know what happened in this position. I know what went on. Blake James and Manny Diaz didn't want Alonzo Highsmith because Alonzo Highsmith was going to come in with a heavy hand. And he was gonna he was gonna assess the whole situation, and if Manny wasn't up to snuff in 2021, you would have had a new coach. Ed Reed can't do that. Ed Reed's not gonna do that. Ed Reed is here, like I told you, to help out in all those other areas, maybe even recruiting too. Who knows? Maybe he helps come in and goes with a, an assistant coach or Manny and helps win mom or dad over, all that good stuff, because mom and dad are going to know Ed Reed. Oh, man, are they going to know Ed Reed. You know what I'm saying? Eh, though Maybe some of the kids might not know Ed Reed. They may, not know, they may have to go Google or go Wikipedia 
or something like that just to kind of get a refresher on who he is. Some kids, you know, there's a few that probably are students of the game. But those, most, all the parents are going to know Ed Reed. That's for sure. And that's really important. And I think he can help out in those areas. But is he really going to be the difference maker on game day? No. Is he going to be the difference in why you are prepared on an off week to play the following team? No. Is he going to be the guy that's going to get a team prepared after a month off to go play a bowl game? No. Okay? And he's not the guy that is going to panic and pull a quarterback when he shouldn't. Manny Diaz is going to do all of that. So, in the end, it's still going to be about what is Manny Diaz going to be in 2020. Has he learned from 2019? Can he be the guy? Because you're questioning it. I'm questioning it. 